It's a busy week yesterday was updated CPI numbers and today is Fed Day. What happened yesterday? Uh, not a whole lot to be honest with you. Inflation numbers did come in just a touch better than forecasted which really had a not the anticipated effect on on rates. Rates actually didn't fare so well yesterday and then today uh, the Fed came out and decided they will not move the Fed funds rate uh, which was to, to be expected uh, honestly. So what ultimately does all this mean? Um, to be determined is is kind of the answer to that. Uh, the Fed would like to see the, the measures that they've put in place play out a little bit longer before they decide to potentially increase the Fed funds rate yet again. Employment's still strong, inflation is still high. So there's a really good chance in, in later meetings if the job market and also inflation um, doesn't subside that, that we will see additional increases. However, I think we're right at, at that precipice where if we start to see uh, data that, that they're ultimately trying to, to obtain, you know, we may see kind of this, this leveling and, and eventually turning the corner here. So what does this mean for, for you, for housing, uh, for interest rates? Housing is very tied to interest rates these days. The cost of living is dictated by one, purchase prices and two, interest rates. And I think the, the, the best way to look at this is a moment of opportunity that's stretched out a little bit longer. As interest rates come down eventually here, we're gonna see the market, I believe, catch fire again. You know, there's a lot of individuals, uh, households, individuals sitting on the sideline waiting for rates to come down really to purchase homes. So if you can get ahead of that, 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 that is the best course of action as long as you put yourself in a sustainable situation.